We are in the last, very last days. We need the Holy Spirit to control our single action. Every word you utter out, every finger you put on your phone screen, wherever you scroll, scroll, scroll for the glory of God. Listen clearly. Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 that and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached into the whole world for the witness of all nations then the end will come. We are in the days of the coming of Jesus. I may not tell exactly which day. I may not tell exactly which month. I may not tell, it's not within my knowing exactly which year is Jesus coming. Neither can I tell you that he will not come. No, he is coming soon. We are in the perilous times of the coming of the Son of God. He is building us that we ought to preach the gospel into the whole world so that nobody will say, I never knew for the witness of all languages, of all nations, so that each one of them should witness the goodness and the truth of Jesus. And then the end will come. Look closely. I said, think, think. As you think, how long would it have taken me as Pastor Tumsime Patrick from Nalia SDA Church to walk from Uganda to Kenya to Rwanda to Namibia to Zanzibar to Sudan and preach the gospel up to Asia, up to Malaysia. How possible would that have been? That is why God had predicted that in the last days knowledge shall increase. Men will have more understanding. That's why I can only get this phone and I speak to a million people worldwide. On Facebook, on YouTube, on WhatsApp, I can speak to a million people within two minutes. Knowledge shall increase. Look, God now intends the outbreak of technology so that he could make it easier for us who are supposed to preach the gospel into the whole world. You can call the outbreak of technology the fourth angel. I say it again. This outbreak of technology, it is at your liberty to call it the fourth angel who is preaching the message worldwide. Let us go in the Bible and we study the three angels that came preaching the gospel, but I'm interested in the first angel's message. Revelation chapter 14 verse 6 and 7. My Bible reads, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. John at the island of Patmos reports that he saw an angel in a vision. John saw an angel fly in the midst of a shouting aloud an everlasting gospel to be preached to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people in the whole world. What was the angel preaching? And the angel in verse 7 saying, with a loud voice, fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him who, that made heaven and the earth and the sea and the fountains of water. The angel came preaching the gospel to every individual, nation, kindred, tongue, and every people in the whole world. Okay? This gospel of the kingdom must be preached into the whole world for the end to come, for the son of man to come. The outbreak of this technology is God's make that he may make it easier for us to spread the gospel worldwide. And I pray the blessing of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit to every individual who has taken a task on your soul to preach the gospel using every social media platform. May God bless you.
The new virus in town is that social media has come and then the prince of this world who is the devil himself has decided to take it over and only evil acts are broadcasted on social media. Alcohol, homosexuality, masturbation, uh, abortion, abortion, uh, smoking, all types of marijuana, cocaine, cigarettes, all of those are, are, are agents of the devil that will lead God's children to the fires of hell. In times like this, very last times, the days of the end of this world, we need the Spirit of God to fill us with wisdom from heaven above that we may be able to escape the plans of the evil one. It is written from the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But the fools despise instruction. Look at this. I wouldn't expect each one of us or anyone among us here to be called among the fools. What did he say? A wise person will listen and obtain knowledge and receive instruction that social media has been taken more by the devil and his actions and his agents. Listen to the warning from the book of Ephesians. There is a warning given to us by Paul, the letter he wrote to the church in Ephesus. Paul writes, writes a letter to the church in Ephesus, warning about the perilous times. The same letter, I extend it to you, my brothers and sisters, world over, that the Lord has blessed us to receive this message today. Listen carefully. He writes in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14, and he says, Wherefore, he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. I extend this letter to every young lady who has given your life to social media. Your finger is always sliding. You no longer have enough time to sit down and eat and think. Your face is always in Facebook. You no longer have time to read the book. Your songs are only praising Facebook and YouTube and so on. You no longer have time to sing a song praising the Most High Father who loved us, who created us, who died for us. This is the time. Listen. Paul writes a letter to the church in Ephesus and the same letter I read it to you that there are far, he says, awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ will give you light. In verse, in verse 15 he says that see then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise. Dear beloved friends, yes, there is a new virus in town. There is a new virus in this 21st century. We are in the era of technology. We are in the era of uh, technological advancements. We are in the era of social media. Some people have reached to believe that social media today is a need. Okay? Without social media, you are backward. If you are not on Facebook, if you are not on Instagram, if you are not on YouTube, if you are not on WhatsApp, then who are you? Where are you? I'm not against that. I am against the many people who have led the devil to prevail on social media when the Lord has committed to us the sure word of salvation to preach to the world. When we have a number of things we can teach on social media. When we can guide the behavior, behavior traits of the children of this nation that they may live and prevail as important men and women to their country, to their churches, to their families, to their family members, to their friends, to their children, to their parents. We need well standing, properly thinking, 
reasoning human beings this we cannot obtain it from social media we can obtain it from the word of god let the social media help us to advance the word of god but the new virus in town only gives us knowledge and wisdom to use on social media as we advance the work of the evil one may god forgive us all forgive us dear lord we have gone astray against your will but today that we have discovered that social media virus we pray that you vaccinate us with the holy spirit that this virus will not kill us but rather we will go through it victorious in jesus there is a new virus in town ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 says that wherefore he says that see then that you walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise friends don't just fall into social media as a fool reason sieve sieve not everything dropped on your youtube not everything on your whatsapp not everything on 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 facebook is meant for you as a christian as a child of god no that's why I'm preaching this message and I upload it on social media so that you who cannot go to see those people enjoying their marijuana, you can come and you enjoy the voice of Jesus speaking to your life, speaking to your home. Don't be a fool, but rather, he says, be as if you are ways. Verse 16, he says, that redeeming the time because the days are evil. He says that in each and everything we do, let us do it redeeming the time because the days we are in are perilous days. We are in the days of the end. The days are evil. This is the 21st century. Technology is an outbreak today which is very good but remember i have said that the importance and the evil of technology all lie in your folded palm like this you choose to open that technology to use it for christ technology is a very good advancement if your palm is folded you choose to use this technology for the advancement of the devil's work Technology is as evil as the devil himself. The new virus in town, the only vaccine, is the word of God. It is written in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31. Corinthians 10 31. It reads and says that therefore whether you eat or you drink, where or you do any other thing, do it all for the glory of God. I want you to go on your social media. WhatsApp, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, ABCD, phone calls, message text. Everything you do with your phone, with your computer, with your laptop, with your everything. And ask yourself, are you using them for God's glory? May, your, may God's name be glorified. May your life be transformed to see Jesus. Are you using them carelessly, negligently to advance the works of the evil one? I don't condemn you, but I pray for you forgiveness in Jesus. And I pray for you revival. Come back and cause the advancement of the name of Jesus. May God vaccinate us from this evil virus called the evil outbreak of social media. And may God call us all upon using social media for spreading the gospel into the whole world that the end the coming of jesus may be brought nigh may god bless you i leave you with a special task ask yourself are you using social media for the glory of god or for your personal glory or for the glory of the enemy of souls that is the question a new virus in town jesus is the only vaccine shall we pray we thank you, Lord, for your love and kindness. May this word today be a fountain of truth and a fountain of life. Every person who has received this message, may we all be transformed to your glory. May we all be reminded that social media is an outbreak brought about that we may spread the gospel worldwide for the end to come. 
be with us guide us in each and everything we do because we are prayed in Jesus' name amen god bless you